So, I've had a good morning so far. Woke up early for me, like eight, eight-ish. And um, I decided to go a walk. So I walked down into town. Didn't really have a reason to go to town and then I remembered I don't wear any sports socks. So I was like, yes, I have some focus, be it a very strange and not really very important focus, but um, a reason to go into town. So I walked down, got my sports socks, had a, a walk home. Um, it's such a nice day outside, so it was good. I'm glad I did it. Um, and it is now 10 to 11. I've got about 20 minutes before I have to leave for work. So I'm doing a bit of vlogging. It's Mental Health Awareness Week next week, so I want to make sure I've got at least two uh, blog posts which are like very focused on mental health because sometimes I tend to veer off into other things. Um, but yeah, I want to make sure I've got two quite in-depth posts about mental health awareness, which I can post next week. So yeah, the reason I went a walk is because I'm trying to get my steps up as well. Because I used to do like, when I had my old job, I used to do like, 14,000 steps a day and that was without any effort that was just like working all day and um, like going to the gym um, I used to have to walk 20 minutes to get to work so that that helped whereas now it takes me like less than 10 minutes to walk to work and I only work for like half the day and the place that I work in is like a corridor there's you basically do like 10 steps and you're at one end of the building and 10 steps you're at the other so I'm trying to get up to 10,000, so I did 10,000 10, steps yesterday, and hopefully, I think I'm at about 5,000 just now, and it's only 11, so I should be able to do it. I hate it when um, when YouTubers drink on, on camera, I don't know why, it just really annoys me. But this is my current drink of choice, I'm trying to save money um, for a holiday that I've got planned next year. So instead of buying a coffee when I was out, I was like, no, I stayed strong, came home and made my own. So it's a decaf, um, a decaf iced latte, basically. It's like some instant decaf um, from Percol, which is my favourite brand. Decaf coffee, and then topped up with some water and ice, and then about, like, that much, yeah, about that much cashew milk, which, if you have never tried cashew milk and you don't like... Um, almond milk or oat milk or coconut milk try cashew milk try it it is like maybe not single cream but it's it's close like if you, like I could drink a glass of it and be happy as anything it's so creamy so satisfying if I'm craving something sweet I'll just have a glass of that and put some um, flavour drops in it my protein flavour drops like the the mocha flavour or the chocolate you want it's so good anyway that's my my drink of choice at the moment i wouldn't say i'm like a big advocate of protein shakes or meal replacement um diets like slim fast no 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 but i've recently say recently like past few months started using huel which when i read about it i was like this looks disgusting. Why would you ever replace your meal with a liquid? What a waste. But to be honest, I found it quite convenient because I started eating a plant-based diet in January and um, Huel is vegan. So I was like, this is just easy. I'm going to have it for breakfast right now. So I'll show you what it looks like. Not that that'll make you want to drink it because it looks boofing. Mmm, look how thick that is. I'm going to need to add some water to that. That's like cement. But it's convenient. <laughs> right, I've added some water. It's drinkable now. That's like... That's pretty much what I have for breakfast. Because three scoops is about 500 calories. And it's meant to be like the perfect balance of protein carbs, fats and um, like fibre, vitamins and minerals, basically just one of those things that like you can you can eat it and know that or drink it and know that it's good, it's the right thing um, so 
And they're 100 grams, so it's like that's slightly less than what I've had. 400 calories, 13 grams of fat, 38 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein, basically no salt. And then that's what it looks like. Big massive bag. So yeah, I mean, they, this is obviously not sponsored. Um, but if you're vegan and or you're just turning vegan, or I'm, I'm not vegan, I, I eat a plant-based diet, but if you're thinking about that then and you're worried about getting um, all the nutrients that your body needs then that is a very good supplement to add into your day. frozen veg mix with some extra sweet corn because it's just fancy up and I've got some uh, salt and pepper and some a tiny bit of hot sauce on it I ran out of hot sauce basically otherwise I would have had loads more I don't normally prep a, a full meal like this and then put it in a tub but I thought I was maybe going to take my lunch to work with me but I ended up not taking it so it's actually quite handy I should really just do this like on a Sunday and then have a couple of days lunch is ready because it makes life so much easier because now I don't have to cook I can just eat and then do some vlogging then I'm going to go to the gym I'm go going to legs bums and tums got to get them carbs in before the workout I have been doing like I can't four day split. I've been doing like two upper body days, two lower body days. Just just weights and maybe like ten minutes of cardio. But I've been just just getting a bit sick of that. I've been doing that for like three weeks maybe. So I thought I'll mix it up and go to some classes for a change. So I went to Fat Burn last night which was like half an hour of high intensity stuff which is really good because I just I love doing it but I, I can't make myself do it at home or in the gym. I've got to have someone pointing and yelling at me and tell me to hit the deck. So that was good. It's always good to get the old heart rate up. Like I try very hard not to eat any junk food at home. We don't really keep any of it in the house and I just feel so much better eating clean and eating healthy because I have more energy, my digestion's really good, I'm not bloated, I'm feeling like, you know, everything's working the way it should be. <laughs> so... Right, I've got nearly, like, a full blog post written there, so that's good when all sorted. got one going up tomorrow and one going up next week. Um, I need to get another one done for next week as well, but... We're on schedule, we're getting ahead of the game and I am now all ready in my gym gear. Whoa, whoa, hold the phone, calm the fuck down. Got my gym gear on and I am going to do some legs, a bum and tums. Wish me luck. It's only half an hour. What's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Back from the gym. Legs, bums and tums was pretty, pretty tough. Lots of lunges. Not a fan of the lunge. I like the bum that it gives you, but not a fan of 
actually doing it. Lots of abs as well, and I just think like I have so much fat on my stomach that what's the point in working abs? Because we're never we're never going to see them. I'd rather spend that time building muscle on the butt. But anyway, I did it. Looked at myself in the mirror the whole time, which was interesting. But anyway, I'm going to jump in the shower, have dinner, and then that's it. Wrapping it up. I hope this wasn't too boring of a, a first ever vlog. Um, but yeah, um, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of this first vlog. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. Thank you.